everyone, and welcome to another week of online curriculum. For this week's activity, we are going to introduce you to a brand new tool on Tinkercad that will help you bring your designs to life at home. To begin, if you haven't watched the introductory video about how to use Tinkercad, it will be helpful to pause this video and do so now. Tinkercad recently released a category of shapes called Making at Home. All of these shapes are modeled after materials you will most likely have in your house, like a toilet paper roll or a can. For this activity, we are going to design an animal house using the Tinkercad Make at Home tool. You can then work with your family to make a real life version of your design. Feel free to use any of the Tinkercad features and don't forget to be creative. Now I'm going to walk you through how I made a house for a hamster or other small pet. Right here is my final design. I will show you this at the end, but first I will start from the beginning. To do so, I'm going to pre press Create New Design. So now I'm at my work plane. I can zoom in and out. I can move all around using this toggle over here, and on the right are all my shapes. So we are going to be focusing on using the new making at home shapes. There's everything from tissue roll, popsicle stick, paper towel roll, pennies, milk jugs, and just about anything you can find in your house. If you have other materials in your house that you would like to use, feel free to add them to your design, but these are just some good places to get started. So for my hamster house, I decided that I was going to start with a yogurt cup. So I'm going to find, it's a very large yogurt cup, so I'm going to drag it on. And sometimes Tinkercad takes a little bit to get used to, so don't be afraid to mess up. You can always delete, restart, and do it again. To flip it around, I'm going to press this, and up in the right-hand corner, there is the mirror. And then I press that button, and then it just flips it around. So I made it really skinny on accident. I'm going to fix that. Pull it back out. And maybe we want to shrink it a little bit. And then I'm going to put it over here in the corner so that we can make the rest of our little house. So now I'm going to want to put a hallway or some other attachments. And in order to do so, I'm going to have to cut a hole in the yogurt cup. In order to do that, I'm going to go out of the making at home tools and go back to basic shapes. In basic shapes, I'm going to take the cylinder and drag it onto the plane. I'm then going to rotate it onto its side, like so, and then drag it in so it's starting to look like a little cutout. But in order for it to be a real hole within the yogurt cup, you're going to come over here and instead of pressing solid, you're going to press hole. Now I can play with this a little bit more and drag it back and forth. Make it bigger and smaller, just depending on what you want. Next, I'm going to go back to the making at home tool and I'm going to see what else I want to add. I think that I'm going to want to add a little bit of a tunnel, so I'm going to use a tissue roll and I'm going to drag it on as well. And here we're going to have to rotate it again. So, well, not this way. We rotate it. And this looks like it's a little bit too big, so we're going to shrink it down, maybe down this way too. And then we're going to attach it to the yogurt cup just like that. So it's always good to look at your design from different angles, so that's why I keep using 
the toggle up in the corner to make sure and see it's a little bit disaligned so that's okay we can shrink it and shrink it a little bit more just so it's fitting the hole that we cut out and you can always change the hole size too let's see I'm gonna drag this in a little bit perfect so now we have a little tunnel here and I'm thinking that we're gonna want to create another room and see if if we look from the top, it looks like it's a little bit disattached. So we're gonna come over here and just pull it on in just a little bit more. Then make sure everything looks okay. It's a little bit off centered, that's all right. We'll drag it over. It takes a lot of adjusting and that's okay. So now, I think that I'm going to want to put another tunnel and another little house. So that means that we're going to have to add another hole. So I'm going to go back to basic shapes. I'm going to drag another cylinder on there on this side now. And you're just going to do the same thing that you did before. You're going to rotate it and just drag it on in. I'm going to press hold and it is looking pretty good. This one's still a little bit disattached, the first tube, but that's okay. We can go back and fix it later. So now I'm going to do the same thing again. And let's drag another tissue roll. And again, it's really big and that's okay. I'm just going to shrink it, shrink it down. Now we're going to check from this angle. It's still looking a little big and a little bit not attached, so we're going to shrink it more and just push it right on in. Perfect. So that's looking pretty good. It's a little bit disaligned still. Cool. I can't seem to get it right. Now, I'm going to add another house and I think that this time I'm gonna wanna make it something different besides a yogurt cup. So I'm gonna look and let's use a metal can. Again, it's really big, that's all right. I'm just gonna shrink it. Let's see if we can. Oh no. So we accidentally pulled it, but we just want to make it smaller first. And put it over here. Let's pull it back up because now it's under the plane and that's what we don't want. So we want to make sure that it's completely on the top. It's just a little bit hard to see because it's so big. We're just going to shrink it, maybe shrink it this way. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to want to flip it over. So we're gonna press the mirror again and flip it and it will flip it for you. And if we look, it's still looking like it's a little bit under the plane. So we're gonna pull it up. Now we're still gonna have to cut a hole here. So let's actually pull this forward because we're gonna wanna put the hole in. And just the same thing. You're going to rotate it, pull it in, you want it to still be sticking out, and a hole. So now in order to move these two together back to the tunnel, you can click and drag, and then we can press up here in the right hand corner, group, and that will group these two together. So we can drag them and they will be, and see how it looks like there's a hole now, it looks perfect. 
and we're just going to drag it right in there. Now we can do that for the entire thing. We can drag this whole thing and press group. And now that'll group the whole thing together so the holes are all fixed. It's a little bit off, so let's look back and see how these are unattached. Let's Oh, see, now it's grouped, so we're going to ungroup it for a second. And we're going to... Let's go back. There we go. And now, it should be... In. Let's just check and make sure that the other one is completely in, in the top. So now it's looking like everything is starting to become aligned. So now let's group it one more time. Let's see, one more thing. Oh, it looks good. Group it one more time. Okay, so now we can start doing some fun things and making them different colors. So if you have paint or markers or crayons at home, when you make your design in person, you can add all of these colors, which is great because we can test this out in Tinkercad. So say I want to make something different color. So because this is grouped, it's going to turn the whole thing one color. But if we wanted to make it different colors, we will ungroup it. And now we could make things separate colors. So if I wanted to make this paper towel roll, let's say we wanted to make it the Maker Girl colors like I did in my design that I showed you at the beginning. So we could pick an orange. For example, this is, hold on. So now we're going to try to make the tissue roll a different color. So we can go, we'll press the tissue roll so this pops up in the corner. And if you press solid, it'll come up with a ton of different colors. So if we wanted to make it the Maker Girl colors like I had done previously, we can just pick, let's say we can pick a pink. And then if we wanted to make the yogurt cup a different color, we could pick orange and you can just keep going in and if you wanted to make a custom color let's say you wanted to make this pink a little bit darker just so it matches a little bit better you can press custom and it will let you change this to any color that you want so now that we have a darker pink like we like let's make this other tissue roll a yellow and say we wanted to make it a little bit lighter we can go in and drag it so it's a little bit lighter or darker whatever we want now finally let's make this can blue 
So we can look at our presets. That looks pretty good. Or we can change it if we wanted. After you've done all this, you can also add a little bit of creative extra pieces. So say we wanted to add a star. We can go back to our basic shapes and you can put a star on top on any part of the house that you want. So if we wanted to put it on the top of the can, we would pull it up and say we wanted to make it a little skinnier. So this stuff, although it's not in the make at home materials, you could cut this out of paper, cardboard, anything you have at home, just be creative. So now we're gonna drag it over and we can just place it on top or wherever we wanted it. So this is my finished hamster house. And I think it looks pretty good. I think that a hamster would really enjoy to run around in this little maze. That is all that I have for you guys today. I hope that you really all enjoy using the new tools on Tinkercad and being creative and making a fun home for an animal. Thank you. See you next week.